very important. And then energy. With energy, you can dissolve the water. So yeah. here you have three. And then with energy, you can create houses. Yes. And then education is just the books. Yeah. You want to know our sources of energy? Um, what do you suggest? If uh, oh. yeah. There's a temperature differential. You know what I mean? Uh, that's that's the upper region of the oceans are warm. Yes. There's ice water down below. The temperature difference can generate electricity. Wave power can generate electricity. The tidal flow in and out, the rivers fill up, and the they, they empty. So you put turbines under the water. Then there's a Japanese current, the Icelandic current, the Gulf Stream. There are many ocean currents under the water, which you can tap for energy. Then there's geothermal. That alone will give you enough energy for the next many thousands of years. There's no shortage. How about using the magnetic uh, current, magnetic, because the Earth is a magnet, as you mentioned, yes. to the... There's other the possibilities. There. There's no shortage well, of well, What do you suggest? Because I'm, I'm into... Uh, Geothermal okay. is the most abundant. Take a lot of solar panels to heat a house, but in Canada, they have what they call permafrost. Six feet under to ten feet under the ground, it's ice all the time. So you run piping up and back, and in the summer, you air condition the building by the permafrost. You don't need to use energy. And then there's uh, heat concentrators, big bowl that can focus heat. And you know what a Fresnel lens is? It's a flat magnifying glass. A magnifying glass, if you cut it in half, it looks like that. And then you take a three by three feet Fresno lens, gives you 2,000 degrees of heat right here. And that's transferred in the oven. And the oven is insulated. So if the sun doesn't come out for a week, you have a hot oven, all you do is put food in. So we don't use any energy, no taxation. Medical care, doctors work three or four hours a day unless they want to work more. That's up to the doctor. So we have ways of heating, cooling without electric bills. But the electric companies wouldn't like it. I don't know if I told you about the pots. Say the pots all have a dimple in the middle. And that's where the heating element is. It only goes through the soup, not all around the pot. The electric companies would hate those ovens. Do you understand that? If you have a pinnacle sticking up in the middle of the coffee pot, so the heat only goes through the coffee, not the whole range on the bottom, yeah. with heat going all around. Yet, so we can use the energy system we have today and produce an abundance. Just that alone. There's no shortage of anything. Now you've got all these separate factories that make vacuum cleaners. We have, a if it's at sea level, it's 15 pounds per square foot of air. If you increase the air pressure in the house to say 17 or 18 pounds, no dust comes in. So if you run your finger on, no dust comes in. So we just have a slight increase in air pressure. No fumes but come in from automobiles or anything else. You can't have windows open. And it's cheap. You won't need it. You won't need it. You're pulling it cold, nice, clean air, and over pressurize your house. You need to have windows open. But there's no air in there. You can't just open it all. You need to have like two way doors. No, no, you, there's, there's no problem. Ships, airplanes, a lot of things are doing this today. It's not a problem. I mean, oh, at um, Gardneria, not sure what the names were for it. What is that? And you can still open the door yeah. without the pressure. Big green houses. Greenhouses. Yeah. Big, big greenhouses. Well, they, they are over pressurized. And when they open the door, they just lose the pressure for a split second. When yeah, they yeah. close the door again, it goes up. It's not airplanes are all pressure. Right. But what they don't have is uh, what we call, it's a, it's a laminated plate called ozone generator. All the cold germs go through it, they're killed. It goes through ultraviolet light and precipitators. So the air in the airplane is circulated. So if a guy is coughing, everybody in the airplane gets sick. It'll go through these germicidal lamps that can kill germs three microns in size. So it's safer to travel on an airplane than in the country. A system that we are using today, also on ships, to desalt water, 
and to make the the all the bacteria go away in the water. Yeah. UV so light. There's no problem. No problem with it. What we have to do is to teach people how to think the new way, so everybody becomes an inventor. Yeah. Everybody can add to the well-being of the country.